Shalom, beloved. A word. I was reading in the book of Nehemiah, and the Lord inspired me to share a word. It parallels the state of Yasharel now. He was praying for Yasharel and for the people and confessing our sins. And even in the land of his captivity, he was asking Yahuwah to prosper him. He went to the king and the king agreed to help him because the walls of Jerusalem were torn down and the gates were burned and torn down. So he was given the right to go and do this great work. But long before he went to the king, he went to the almighty Yeshua and asked him, to prosper the work. He confessed the sins, not just of himself, but of the people he was praying for, Yasharel. By the time the king of the land agreed to let him go, he had given him the right to go to the forest. He had given him letters to be able to go and rebuild that wall. But you see, in the midst of this, there was a man named Sambalite. Sambalot the Horonite and Tobiah the servant and the Ammonite heard of it. And it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Yasharet. You know, you get these heathens that they joy and glory at the downfall, at the oppression of a people. They joy and glory in it. And when they see that people trying to rise up to go back to their rightful place, not so much amongst men as they think, but with Yahuwah and to live freely amongst themselves, it grieves them. Yes, yes, yes. You know, when Sambalot and Tobiah heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Yasharim. And when Sambalot, and I'm moving throughout the book of Nehemiah, I'm just going to flow. I had tried to make this video a few times. This is my hopefully last time of trying. Nehemiah, he had gone and spoken to the people. Then I said unto them, you see the distress that we are in. Yes, yes, yes. In the days of Nehemiah, we are paralleling it to the days of Yasharel right now. Ye see the distress that we are in. Yes. How Jerusalem lies waste. And the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come, let us build up the wall of Jerusalem that we may be no more a reproach. You can liken those walls to the temple. We being lively stones are built up a temple, but there are those who are attacking the building up of Yashareth. And the gates, they do not want those gates put back in place those gates, that word of the almighty living Yah, okay? But when Sambalot the Horonite and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonite, and Geshem the Arabian heard it, they laughed us to scorn. There are many right now, they want to make it as though Yasharel is a joke, a byword, a reproach. They must be crazy. They're trying to say who they are. And I find it amazing because they're not trying to reveal our true identity, but they don't, they, they despise and they have a strong mocking for when we find out who we are and we are building up the nation. Mm -hmm. They laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, what is this thing ye do? Everybody stop. What, what is this thing you're doing? You can parallel it to right now. Mm -hmm. 
Will you rebel against the king? They tried to make it some carnal thing as though it has a negative connotation. Mm -hmm. And then Nehemiah said, I answered them and said unto them, the God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore, we, his servants, will arise and build, but ye have no portion, mm, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. He is telling the heathens, you have no portion, you have no right, and no memorial in Jerusalem. They are trying to not only hinder the work of the people now, as well as then, they are not giving any honor to the most high, none. Even now, when you hear these people rise up, you don't hear the word of Yah. You don't hear of righteous rulership. You don't hear of a quality of life that they are teaching. They want to hinder the work. They despise it. They are scoffing. They are mocking. Yes, yes, yes. As we move on, and we're going throughout the book of Nehemiah. But it came to pass that when Sambalot heard that we builded the wall, he was wroth and took great indignation and he mocked the Jews as Yasharel then and now is being built up. They're those who are wroth. They take great indignation, my God, um, and they mock Yasharel. I don't know who you think you are, but you ain't nobody. That mocking goes on. We can parallel the days below. Mm -hmm. They went on to say, and he spake before his brethren in the army of Samaria and said, what do these feeble Jews, you, they, they, they look at us as though we are weak. What are they doing, these Hebrews? They're feeble, they're weak. Yes, yes, yes. Wait a minute. Will they sacrifice? We sacrifice with thanksgiving and praise all the day long. Hmm. Will they fortify themselves? Will they strengthen themselves? Will they make an end in a day? Will they do this in a day? They're mocking. Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned? They're going to build it up. You know, you can liken that to the Valley of Dry Bone. Will these bones live? They are mocking, never taking into consideration the almighty, powerful, and dreadful Yahuwah, who is prospering in the hand of Nehemiah and all the Yazraelites who are part of it. Mm. But it came to pass that when Sambalot and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped, then they were very wroth. Wait a minute. We can't send in the trouble. We were trying to stop them. Now they're wroth because they hear, they see that Yasharel is being built up. That great temple, those living stones are coming together. Yes, yes, yes. And they conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Yasharel, Jerusalem, and to hinder it. Hmm. Sounds like they took crafty counsel. Have we seen a time presently where all these people came together to hinder the work? Mm. But you see, we got to go back to when that earthly king gave Nehemiah the green light to go ahead and start the building. The word has gone out. It will not come back void. That word has gone out. The true king of kings has given the okay, and they cannot hinder it. It has gone out. He's. We've got papers now. The proof has gone out. They cannot hinder it directly anymore. It's too late. The king gave his okay, just like nowadays. The words have gone out. And they cannot stop it. So now, mm, 
They're conspiring, all of them together, to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made prayer unto our Yahoo and set a watch against them day and night. Yes, beloved, yes, when we look in the book of Isaiah, chapter 62, verse 6, I'm trying to find it. I'm going to have to share my screen bear with me as I move throughout. When we look at the book of Isaiah, I've set a watchman upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yet, yea, that make mention of Yahuwah and keep not silent. Yes, beloved, you are hearing the watchmen come out. There are those who are anointed by Yah, who they are upon the walls of this building, our temple now, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yea, they make mention of Yahuwah and they keep not silent. Those watchmen, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. We move on in the book of Nehemiah. They conspired, all of them, to come together and to fight. But nevertheless, we made our prayer unto Yah and set a watch against them day and night because of them. Yes, yes, yes. They tried to trick the people that were coming down to help, threatening them that they would never make it home. And you see, this was Nehemiah's response. I'm still in the book of Nehemiah. Be ye not afraid of them. Remember the Lord, which is great and terrible, and fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your houses. And it came to pass when our enemies heard that it was known unto us, and Yah had brought their counsel to naught, that we return all of us to the wall, everyone unto his work. You see, there was a, a conspiring against us recently. But it was brought to naught. It did not stop this mighty work because Yahuwah is prospering it, beloved. Many of you right now have Sambalots and Tobias and Geshems in your life. That temple of you that's being built up, they want to stop that mighty work. But what you don't understand is Yahuwah is blessing it and prospering it. And even when it looks as though you have all these resistors against you, he is using it to let you know it is not by your strength or your might, but by his spirit that this thing is coming to pass is by his spirit, beloved. So when your resistors come, let it be known to you that blessing is upon you and to continue the work, to be encouraged, if you will, because you have to remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness and high places. Yes, yes, yes. We even have those renegades, those nimrods, those rebels among us who help the heathen. They help the heathen, beloved. I am going to go into, I'm still in the book of Nehemiah, I'm moving throughout. There are prophets who were hired by Sambalat, Tobiah, and Geshem and the like to come and pronounce doom to Nehemiah and Yasharel as they built that wall. They were paid, they were hired. As a matter of fact, when Nehemiah hears the threats telling them to come and to pray and to meet, Nehemiah has a response. And lo, I perceive that Yah had not sent him but that he had pronounced this prophecy against me for Tobiah and Sambala had hired him. There are those amongst us look like us. 
that are working for Tobias and Sanballat. Many of them are coming from high places, high places. They are higher. They get their money from that source. But, and they pronounce false prophecies. They make false statements because they follow the way of the heathen. And many of them sit in high places, spiritual wickedness in high places, beloved, Nimrods, rebels, if you will. We see that now, that speak against the watchmen, that speak against those who cry out day and night without ceasing, doing the job Yahuwah put upon them. Whether it be for a lifetime, whether it be for a moment, whether it be to share a link, Whatever they cry out night and day, whether it be the man who put it together or the woman who spoke a word, they cry out those watchmen upon the wall. Yes, beloved, yes. But we see they were hired by the heathen. They think they're doing a good thing. Mm. Wait a minute. Therefore, was he hired that I should be afraid? Yes, yes, yes. They are using the funds of the heathen mm. that I should be afraid and do so and sin. As a matter of fact, when I move down and on the prophetess Naodiah and the rest of the prophets that would have put me in fear, these people are hired, beloved. And no, these are spirits spiritual wickedness. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. So when people come to you and they make these statements because you are being built up like the walls of Jerusalem, that, that holy temple, you are being built up, beloved. The Sambalots, the Tobias and the Geshems, the Arabians, they, they laugh you to scorn. They don't want to see it prosper. Yes, yes, yes. But in the end, after all of this, they threatened them. They had to work with their tool in one hand and their sword in another. But you see, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And remember, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. That sword is the word of the almighty living Yahuwah. They kept that sword. As a matter of fact, it got to the point that they were sleeping in their clothes. When I looked, so neither I nor my brethren nor my servants nor the men of the guard which followed me, none of us put off our clothes, saving that everyone put them off for washing. They couldn't take their clothes off. We put on the whole armor, beloved, the whole armor. Of Yah. Yes, yes, yes. We can't put it off. Yes, beloved. Once the work was done. Once the work was done. It was understood that there were many people put in high places. Spiritual places. That should not have been there. When they took out the book of the law. Which they are supposed to study every day. When they took out the book of the law after being in captivity so long, they realized that some of the people that were running with the high priest, that was son-in-law to Sambalat, some of these people did not belong in the offices that they occupied. And Nehemiah and the others had to cleanse the temple. They had to put certain people out. You got people sitting in high places spiritually high places, beloved, that speak as though they have knowledge, that speak as though they have a right. They bring in foreigners, if you will. They allow for things that should not be allowed for. But Yahuwah is doing a mighty work in you, in me, and in the house of Yasharel. We are as like unto the days of Nehemiah, beloved. And no matter how many Sambalots or Tobias or Geshems come, who think it a light thing, who, who mock us, Yahuwah is prospering this work. The very first thing Nehemiah did was pray for Yasharim and confess our sins, recognize the punishment, 
and ask him to remember the covenant. Beloved, this is a word. We now together as the house of Yasharel confess to you, Father, our sins and the sins of our ancestors. We ask that you remember our covenant. O oh, great, mighty, and dreadful Yahuwah, the covenant you made with our father Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and hear from us all around the world as the Yasharel was scattered in the days of Nehemiah and you brought that great work together. Now we are scattered once again with Sambalots and Tobias and Geshems all about us. Prosper this work where they think the walls and the gates will be burned and left in rubbish. Raise us up just like you did when we were nothing but a valley of dry bones. Raise us up, living stones. Raise us up, Father. Let us come together for they have no part in this mighty work. We praise, honor, and glorify you this day and forevermore. Thank you for your word of life. Let us study it. Let it be a part of us. Let our will decrease and your will increase in us, Father. All praise, honor, and glory. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a word, beloved. Shalom.